Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about Shopify functions and in this function, we are going to use card validation API where we can limit the user to buy a specific product in a specific quantity. So they cannot purchase all the products. So we will set the quantity so they cannot exceed that quantity. So first thing we are going to do, we are going to create a new Shopify app and for that we are going to type npm init and the rate of Shopify slash app at the rate latest. We are going to build this app in Node.js so hit enter and give the name of the project limit quantity check out and then it will ask you start with remix recommended click on that enter that and then and choose the javascript and enter and it will start downloading the app and installing the dependencies and once it is installed go to the directory cd quantity limit quantity and run npm run generate tension and yes confirm that npm app generate extension and then select the partner and then yes create a new app yes and from here you need to select the uh, what type of action we are going to do we are going to select the cart and checkout validation function so there are different functions available we are going to use this one cart and checkout validation function hit enter and name the uh, name name of your extension so we will use the same name and then we are going to choose now our app is downloaded and if you if you need the reference you can copy this url and open that in the browser and you will find the card validation reference so let's go back to the app and Open this app code in the Visual Studio code and as you can see we have a extension folder and we need to go to card checkout validation this one and then we will open uh, the source folder in the source folder we have a run.js and then we have run.graphql so let's write some query over here first so in the run input we will go to the card then line items then quantity and after the quantity we will go to merchandise and in the merchandise on product variant you can find all these uh, references here in the given URL and you can see how they are nested so on the product variant we will go to the product and in the product we will find the handle and we need to create we need to create a new uh, meta field so let's create a meta field first 
go to the setting and go to the custom data products and I have already created this this beta field the name should be max amount and the type would be integer and the max minimum value is one save that so we need uh, the the name and uh, namespace and the key so namespace is custom and the key is max amount so go back to the code again and here we will type max orders and in this we will pass the meta field and the meta field uh, function we will pass the namespace namespace would be custom and key would be rex promote and then we are going to get the value of that meta field so save that save that and then go to run.js and we are going to write our logic here it will return us a, a product handle and the max order meta field uh, uh, value so now we are going to add the logic here so I will I will remove everything from here and I'll type const errors is equal to an array and then input dot card dot lines dot for each and I will pass line item so Bracket here, thing then. I will have a variable const quantity. I will get the quantity from that line item and then merchandise. Merchandise is equal to line item. let me fix the spelling of quantity and then we are now we will find the max value const max and convert that into number in the number dot pass hint and merchandise merchandise if we have merchandise we will check that and then product we will check that and then max orders max orders dot value and then we will write the logic if max and quantity greater than max then we are going to push the error error dot push and here we will push the object local localized message message that would be count order more than two or can't order more than whatever the value we will set in the meta field so i'll say merchandise dot product dot handle and then the target would be 
cart. Save that and now we need to run our app. So type uh, npm run dev and it will start loading our app. And press P now. It will open the app in a new browser. So we need to install this app and install this app. And once this app is installed, go to settings and go to checkout. Then in the bottom, add a rule and select cart checkout validation. Add that rule and enable that, activate. And now if I go to the product and I click on this product and add the max amount to here so no one can buy more than two, two quantity of this product and let me open this product and add, try to add this product into the cart into cart and view cart right now we have three let's try to add first two and go to the checkout we don't have any errors go back here and if we add three product and you can see card add more than two products so if you by chance if you go to the product and add another product and then add another one you cannot add more than two products so you will see same error in the checkout as well so yes you cannot add more than two products 